dudes and dudettes of YouTube land. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. It's Frank with What's the Point EDC. So we got a Best Tech War Wolf to check out here. Let me wipe it down. Somehow I managed to get more fingerprints on it. <laughs> so we've got a uh, D2 blade here. This is give or take a three and a half inch blade, I believe. It might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less. Uh, I know it has an eight inch handle because I do remember that. G10 scales. It's a very comfortable knife. This is just a close-up video of the Best Tech War Wolf. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a little talk about the knife, how it's been. Um, this is not a review. This is just checking it out. It's kicking the bogey. Check out the texturing on that. That gives you very good grippage. We have polished liners in there. We have a semi-deep carry pocket clip that is also polished up. We have a satin finished blade with some type of black coating on here. D2 steel. I don't remember what the HRC is on the steel right now. I don't remember who the designer is for this knife. But as you guys see, it is a flipper only knife. Uh, let's see what this pocket... Oh, it's a right hand only tip up carry pocket clip. That's what I thought it was. This is a harpoon blade. It is... Made by Best Tech. I know I already said that, but I just want to say it one more time. Let's take another look at that logo. So let's do a uh, let's do a pocket check real quick. Today I'm carrying my newly acquired Best Techman Ronin. That is G10 scales. That is 14C 28M blade steel on this bad boy. It has uh, Best Techman's B lock, which is a crossbar lock. I'm also carrying in the left front pocket. I'm going light today, guys. Left front pocket, my off-grid knives, Baby Rhino, 14C 28M blade steel, G10 scales. It is also made by Best Tech. So this is a table of Best Tech. Yep, yep, yep. You guys know I always, all any all times of the day, I have this in my pocket. Whether I'm wearing shorts, whether I'm wearing sweat, but it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. This is going to be in my pocket, and this little guy will certainly probably be in there too, if not one of my bigger ones. But this is the Rovivon Aurora A2 Gen 3 EDC flashlight. It's bright, 600 lumens. It's got five functions in total, one including a strobe function. This is magnetic pocket clip. There you go. It's a cool removable pocket clip. You can move it up and down. It goes on your hat. You can reverse it backward. Let me turn it on now. I ain't going to do that to y'all. All right, everybody. Let's, do, um, let's bring out two more here for a little size comparison why not get out another uh frequent flyer on the channel right there we got the srm p138-b and we have oh is this p hold on now this is the srm 9201-gw it is um i forget what kind of a uh, scale this is you like grn 14C 28M blade steel. Y'all know how I feel. Or is this D2? Let's see. Yep, this is the D2 model. I'm just messing all the way up, guys, now, ain't I? Slow roll it out for you. This right here is another Best Tech. This is called the Best Tech Bobcat G10 scales D2 blade steel. All three of these knives are D2 right here. The ergonomics on this knife are excellent, but we've already talked about that. Back to the start of the show. This is my first harpoon blade knife. I really like it. You know what I like about this knife is it has like a, a downward cant to it, as you can see. It's like if you're holding it like this, it wants to cut downward. If you're holding it in the reverse grip, it's wanting to point down. It just doesn't matter what you do. It's ready to slice and it's ready to poke. And it is angled great. It's got excellent action. I'm going to let you hear that. It snaps out with a Thor tie. Oh yeah, it sure does. You can flick it like that. You can flick your bick with it. You can flip it upside down and hit it with the old cha-cha-cha right there. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much about that. But this is a good knife. It's getting... The action on it has actually really gotten good since I got it. That's excellent. It's running on some type of bearings in there. I believe it looks like bearings. Let me take a close look right here. That's definitely bearings. 
Good stuff, guys. I'm becoming a Best Tech fan. Not like a fanboy or anything, but I like the album. I'm beginning to like their stuff. I like um, Best Tech. So far, I'm liking Best Techman. Um, I definitely like Rake, as you guys know. I have a thing for budget knives. I, I really want to get a bunch more expensive knives and keep doing that, but I really have a place with uh, budget knives in my heart. I really do, guys. I don't know why. I just, I do. Well, everybody, this isn't very long right here. This was just a quick example of what's going on. We're going to take one more minute or two and finish it up. Let's look inside there and see what we're working with. It is skeletonized a little bit. We have standoff barrel spacers. This right here is going to be your travel stop. You know, stop your blade from moving too far. Good stuff. One thing I forgot to point out in my best techman video, which you will see after this, or you'll see this before that. I don't know which way I'm going to do it. But look at this right here. See it stops right there. Travel stop there. Travel stop right there. That one. Watch this. See? Blade hits it. Good stuff, guys. Best tech knives. This is sharp knives and good vibes here. What's the point EDC? I'm going to tell everybody one last thing before I go. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. If you're struggling with bad thoughts, it does not end this way. Life does get better. Grab life by the horns. Make it what you want it to be. Reach out and get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. It's Frank with What's the Point EDC. Much love to everybody out there. Take care, peace out, and much love.